Hello all, welcome to the introductory part of this project. So in this session, we are basically going to talk about our business problem because before building some cool and fancy model, you have to understand your business problem. You have to understand your data. Let's say this is exactly the entire data set that I have to consider for my entire project. And you will see over here on the basis of this password, you have to predict whether the strength of the password is let's say strong, weak or average. Let's say this is the entire data from some APIs. Let's say this is the data from some Facebook APIs. And whenever a user is going to do a sign up and at the process of sign up, a user is basically going to fill a password and you have to predict whatever password the user is going to fill whether it is of a strong format whether it is of weak format or whether it lies in average category so to build a model you have to do lots of data pre-processing you have to do lots of analysis on data because you have to understand your data as much as you can after it you have to apply lots of techniques of nlp as well as machine learning algorithms on data so for what you guys are waiting for just stay with me and have a fun so this exactly is my data set on which we have to perform some kind of analysis on which we have to deal with various pre-processing stage then we have to build our model that will predict yeah whether my password has a good strength average strength or a poor strength so very first i'm just going to read this data so for this i have to import some of the basic library so very first i'm just going to import my pandas and i'm going to create an alias spd then i have to import basically my numpy and i'm going to say its alias is np then for visualization stuff you can import your cpon whatever you want and i'm going to create an alias as sns and if you want to import matplotlib you can import it as well so if you want to get rid of all the warnings that will come across your cell you can import your warnings exactly it is warnings then what you have to do from this warning basically you have to import dot filter warnings so this is exactly that and if you are going to press shift plus tab over here so it is not returning anything so you can manually set it as ignore it means whatever warning that will come it will just ignore all these warnings across your cell so very first you have to just read your data so i'm just going to call my read csv function and in this you have to very first specify your path where exactly your data is so i'm just going to copy paste from here and just paste over here so just press tab over here to get your data set name so this is exactly my data frame so i'm just going to store it in data and to get a rough idea on your data frame just call a head on your data so it will see me yeah you have parser error so in such case you can set your error underscore bad underscore lines parameters equals to false because by default it is set as true so again execute it and you will get your data frame so this is exactly my data frame so this is basically my password and with respect to each and every password i have a strength so if i'm going to say whatever data i have on this if i'm going to access my strength let's say on strength i'm going to check yeah what are the unique values in my strength so you will say zero to one whereas zero will refer to yeah it is a poor rent whereas Two will refer to yeah it is of best strength whereas one refer to normal as well so now what you have to do you have to just deal with whether you have some any values in your data or not or all these stuff so i'm going to say data dos is null or is na whatever you want because both have the same functionality so just press alt plus enter and you will see password has just one nan value so let's say i'm going to check in what entry i have this nan value for this very first you have to access this password and you have to call a function known as is null so it will return me yeah whether i have null or not so you have to just pass this entire filter in your data frame so if you are going to execute this you will see in this much entry you have an n value in your password so what you can do you can simply drop this so i'm going to say just drop it so data dot drop na and here you can set your in place parameter so that you will update your data frame as well so if i'm going to check whether right now i have any null value or not so again you will see you don't have any null value in your data set let's say i'm going to perform some kind of visualizations over here let's say i'm going to check yeah what are the different different categories in my password or i can say in my strength column so here you have to just pass your data frame name and then you can pass your strength as well so now you will say using this count plot or i can say by chart one has a maximum count somewhere close to 50,000 where both have somewhere close to 10,000 
count so you will see there is a huge fluctuation in data because one has a highest count whereas zero and two has the lowest count in your data it means if you are going to create a that machine learning model it will get biased to your strength one because it is already has a maximum count so it is basically a type of your imbalanced data set so now you will see in data this is exactly your independent feature and this is exactly your dependent feature so now basically you have to separate both of them so very first what i'm going to do i'm just going to define an array and in that array i'm going to consider the entire data whatever data i have over here so for this i'm going to say whatever will be my array i'm going to name it as password underscore tuple and now basically i have to convert my entire data in the form of array so i have to just pass in in my numpy dot array so this is exactly my entire data in the form of array so if you want to print you can print it as well so now from this array you can easily or i can say you can simply fetch data in the form of dependent as well as independent features as well but let's say before extracting independent and dependent features from your data i'm just going to shuffle my data so that it will provide robustness to my model because before passing your data for your training purpose to any of the machine learning model if you pass shuffle data it will provide robustness to your model so very first i'm just going to import my random module so i'm going to say import random and using this random you have to call a function known as shuffle and in this shuffle you have to just pass this above array which is exactly my password underscore shuffle so just execute it and it will shuffle your array so now from this array you have to extract dependent as well as my independent feature so what i'm going to do i'm just going to iterate on this array so i'm going to say for labels in this password underscore tuple so to access your independent feature here i'm going to say labels of zero because zero is the index of this one and one will be the index of this one so this is exactly my code of list comprehension so very first i have to mention the entire code in the form of list as well so i'm just going to store the entire data in x because this is exactly my independent data so for y you can just copy this entire code and you can paste over here and now basically for y you have to access the index one so just execute it and if you want to print your x let's say for your sake so you will see in x you have all your password which is exactly your independent feature so that's all about this session so in all our upcoming session i'm going to show you before passing this data to your machine learning model what type of pre-processing you have to do what type of nlp techniques before passing to any other machine learning model you have to pass you have to apply on this data so hope you love it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Keep learning. Keep growing. Keep practicing.